Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem in two-dimensional board, two-dimensional motion. Let us first understand what is given in a problem. It is given that there is a body who is projected with some initial velocity u, with some an angle theta to the horizontal. I would like to calculate the time of which its initial and final velocities of the projectile is perpendicular to each other, the time of which the initial and final velocity of the projectile are perpendicular. I would like to calculate after watch time these two velocities are perpendicular. Let us try analyzing the problem first. Let us try drawing a diagram. So first of all I have to draw a projectile. Let me draw. This is a Cartesian coordinate system. So that this is the origin. From here a projectile is projected with a velocity u making an angle theta. We know that the path of this projectile is parabola. This is already proved. If you don't know this, please go to this video list of the two dimensional motion chapter and check. Now this initial velocity u can be resolved into components velocity along the x direction as u cos theta velocity along the y direction as u sin theta so if i want to write what is its initial velocity u bar i can write that as u cos theta i cap because it's along x axis u sin theta plus j cap because it's along positive y axis now after some time the projectile will have a velocity let that velocity equal to v which can also be resolved with the components so let this is vx this is something like vi let me calculate how does velocity changes with respect to time say first along x-axis i would like to use the formula v equal to u plus at v is vx u is a ux but you know there is no gravity acting along the x-axis gravity always acts along only y-axis so vx is nothing but equal to ux that is nothing but the initial velocity along the x-direction that's nothing but equal to u cos theta similarly i would like to know after some time what is all we are calculating is after some time what happens to velocity along x-axis now i would like to calculate what happens to the velocity of the same projectile after some time along y-axis x-axis is over let's go for the y-axis so along the axis i would like to use the same formula vy equal to uy plus ay into t you know ui is u sin theta ay is minus g because the body is going up but the gravity is acting in a downward direction and time is t so if i have to write what is the velocity after some time that implies after some time t velocity v bar could be expressed as vxi bar and vy j bar vx is nothing but ux that is u cos theta i cap ui is nothing but a u sin theta minus gt j cap now i would like to calculate after what time these two velocities are perpendicular to each other so if this v bar is perpendicular to u bar suppose these are vectors if the two vectors are perpendicular the dot product has to be equal to zero so u bar dot v bar has to be zero this is because since you know a dot v is nothing but equal to a b cos theta if theta is 90 a dot v becomes automatically zero that means if any two vectors are perpendicular to each other the dot product shall be equal to zero so i will find the dot product of these two vectors a bar and b bar 
and I will equate it to zero. It implies yeah. U bar dot V bar is equal to U bar is U cos theta I cap plus U sin theta J cap dot U cos theta I cap plus U sin theta minus GT dot J cap. It has to be equated to zero. You know how to find a dot product you have to multiply x components of both the vectors and add that to the multiplication of y component of both the vectors so u cos theta and u cos theta x components so u square cos square theta plus u sin theta of the first one and u sin theta minus gt of the second one their dot product has to be equal to zero by simplifying this further u square cos square theta plus u square sin square theta minus u sin theta into gt has to be equal to 0. If I have taken u square common, it will become cos square theta plus sin square theta minus u sin theta into gt equal to 0. So we know cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. Therefore, u square equal to u sin theta into gt. One u can be cancelled. That implies time is nothing but equal to u by g sin theta. So, this is the time after which initial velocity and the final velocity of a projectile becomes perpendicular to each other. Thank you for watching. Keep coming for more and more.